guys welcome back okay so today as you can see I have a very bold blue eye look I wasn't exactly sure what I was gonna do I actually sat down to do a Valentine's Day look but I just wasn't really feeling it <laughs> so this is what we have but anyway I went ahead and used my so jaded ColourPop and Kathleen lights eyeshadow palette today you guys know I've been really wanting to play in this palette for the longest, but just haven't really been inspired by it. Every time I open it, I'm just kind of like, mm. but it is a very, very pretty palette. So this is the look that I came up with today. I guess I was drawn to the blues in here. I actually only used about four shadows in this palette to create this look. So very simple, not too difficult, um, although it is very bold. <laughs> so if you'd like to see how I created this look today and I did do a full face so I'm gonna go ahead and just include the full face on this then stay tuned because it's coming up next okay you guys so let's go ahead and get started I'm starting off today using my elf all day stay eyeshadow primer and I'm just using a dense fluffy brush to place this all over my lids making sure that it is nice and even so the first shadow I'm going into is actually called Rose Quartz and I'm just using this really light pale shade to kind of set my brow bone area just so I can have a nice base for the other shadows to, bl to blend into. Next I'm going into this really dark blue matte shade. It's called Sapphire. And as you can see, I'm using my brush to basically carve out the shape for today's eye look. Now with this shadow, it is very pigmented, but <laughs> it does have to be built up as you can see. So it took me a little bit of time to kind of build it up to the richness of the color, but it is a very, very pretty shadow. And as you can see, it does build up very nicely. Next, I'm going into the shade Turquoise, and this is a really pretty aqua shade blue. Now, I did not expect that much pigment <laughs> from just tapping it on my lid, but that shadow is very pigmented, you guys. I mean, really pigmented. So, I just took this, it's kind of like a buffing brush, and I'm just using that to blend out the edge of that dark blue and just incorporate that turquoise right along with it. But I'm just taking my time, putting in a little bit of elbow grease because I want that turquoise to just kind of fade up into my brow bone because I don't want to add any more color. So as you can see, it blended out very, very nicely. I really like how that looks. Next, of course, I'm using my Revolution Cut Crease Canvas. I'm almost out, actually. I need to replace it, <laughs> but I'm using a flat shader brush to kind of carve out this cut crease. And I'm almost cutting out a full lid today, but I kind of stopped a little bit short because I know that I wanted to add more of that dark blue in the corner. So this is what our cut crease is looking like. So like I said, I am going in with that dark blue shade and just tapping that in the outer corners just because I wanted to bring it up a little bit farther into that cut crease. And next to that, I'm taking that turquoise shade. So I'm just using the same colors that I used in my crease, tapping that right next to that dark blue shade and just blending those together making sure that both sides are nice and even and also making sure that I don't go too dark with that turquoise. <laughs> I wanted a nice fade. So for my lid portion of my cut crease, I'm spraying my brush and I'm using the shade Aquamarine. And this color is so, so pretty. It's just a gorgeous kind of like aqua and light blue shimmer shade. Oh, it's so, so pretty, you guys. And it laid down very, very easily. Now I'm just tapping a little bit more of that turquoise shade right next to that shimmer, just so I can make sure I have a nice blend. So moving on to the face. For primer today, I'm using my Becca Skin Love Brighten and Blur Primer. 
I've been wanting to try this out for quite a while. I really like it. It's very, very moisturizing and it gave me a really nice, smooth base for my foundation. So I really, really like it so far. Now I'm doing something that I haven't done in quite a while and I'm going to do some color correcting. So I'm using my NYX orange color corrector and I'm just going to take a dense brush and just kind of tap some of that all around the dark areas around my mouth as well as the dark circles under my eyes. This has just kind of been bothering me lately. I used to color correct all the time but I kind of got away from it because sometimes it can be harder to cover up the orange color corrector than it is to cover up the dark circles. <laughs> so you have to be careful not to use too much color corrector. So I made sure to use just enough today. So for foundation, I'm using my Burt's Bees. I haven't used this, I don't think since I bought it. So I really am not sure, <laughs> even still how I feel about this foundation. It's not a bad foundation. I feel like it is really kind of like a light to medium coverage at that. I mean, it is buildable, but to me, it's it's nowhere near a full coverage for me. And it has a little bit of a smell to it, a little bit of a strange smell, and <laughs> it's just not my favorite. I would say it's it's decent, but it's definitely not my favorite. I wouldn't miss it if it was gone. So this is what the Burt's Bees looks like on me. <laughs> yeah, moving on. Okay, so I'm trying out this new e.l.f. hydrating concealer today. And I really, really love the 16 hour camo concealer, the regular kind of matte one. So I was curious to see if I would like this one. I got the same shade, Deep Cinnamon. And I'm just using this to heighten, or to heighten, to highlight and conceal today. And so what I will say is that I don't like it any more or any less than the matte concealer because you guys know I do like a matte face. But I've gotten to the point where I can actually do um, a dewy or hydrated face as well. So I think for coverage, the coverage is great. <laughs> I think it's amazing just like the 16 hour camo concealer and it's definitely hydrating. I mean, it really, really left my face, as you can see, nice and dewy. It didn't dry out at all. It was easy to blend out and I like it just as much as the 16 hour camo concealer. Now I'm going in with this Black Radiance Loose Powder. <laughs> now I have forgotten how light this powder is i don't even know okay so this is the banana powder i was curious i was like what shade is that but yeah it's the banana powder and it's not like crazy crazy light but it is lighter than what i'm used to using i typically use something that's just a little bit more almond colored so that kind of surprised me a little bit when i put it on but as you can see this powder is very fine very nice and smoothing and it creates a nice, nice coverage for that concealer. Now to set the rest of my face, I'm using my L'Oreal True Match Powder, and I'm just using a fluffy brush just to tap that in around the perimeter of my face and all the other areas where I did not use the banana powder because I really use that to just kind of set the highlighted areas of my face, if that makes sense. Next to bronze, I'm going in with my CoverGirl Full Spectrum Bronzer, and this is in the shade Ebony. I really like this bronzer. As you can see, it bronzes very nicely. <laughs> also, as you will see, I went a little ham with it, so I was very, very bronzed this a day, but I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it at all. You can definitely warm up your face very quickly and very easily with this bronzer. See, I went to town, didn't I? <laughs> 
finally I'm trying out this cover effects uh, blush duo I have mine in the shade spice cinnamon and I really like it it's just a nice soft kind of peachy rose shade and it goes on very very nicely it is very pigmented though for highlight I decided to use my BH cosmetics desert oasis palette and I'm using the shade Utopia to highlight <laughs> and uh, yeah that highlight is beaming I did not expect it to be that loud but I went ahead and, and ran with it you know it didn't scare me away so that's what I use for highlighter now going back into the palette on the lower lash line I'm taking that dark blue shade and just dragging it on the outer half of my lower lash line and I'm going back into the turquoise shade and dragging that along the inner portion of my lower lash line. I just really like how those two colors blend together. They're very complementary blues. And for my inner corner, I'm going into this really pretty um, it's kind of like a glittery shade. It's called Diamond and it's actually um, What is it a super shock shadow that they have in this palette? And I'm just using a wet brush to tap that in the inner corner and it turned out very very pretty very sparkly For my lips. I'm just using my BFF 4 lip liner from ColourPop And for lipstick, I'm also using a ColourPop lipstick. This is in the shade Quickie. It's a very, very light peach toned lipstick. Just regular bullet style lipstick. And to top that off, I'm going in with my e.l.f. Mocha Twist Lip Gloss. Very, very easy nude lip, you guys know. <laughs> very, very easy, quick and simple. And to set this face in place, I'm using my MAC Fix Plus. And this is the lavender scent. Smells very, very nice, you guys. It's very cooling and very relaxing. So this is the final look, you guys. I'm really glad that I did go ahead and sit down and finally play with this So Jaded palette. It's a nice palette. I really need to play around with the other shades in here because I think it created a very bright, bold, pigmented blue eye look. So I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me to create this eye look. If you liked it, please go ahead, hit that like button, make sure that you subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Toodles!